America, America, and what's up, America? And thank you for tuning back in to Speak Up with Sean Marcus. Today, I got a question for you. About a month ago, I ran into an article, and it had a statement in it, and it said this. It said, men use intimacy to get sex, and women use sex to get intimacy. Now, let me say that again. It said men use intimacy to get sex and women use sex to get intimacy. We're about to go there. So let's just start with that that statement right there. Let's peel back the layers. If that's the case, it's basically saying you got to give a little. You got to take a little. You got to give a little to get a little. Right. That's the American way. That's what we all do. In business, in relationships, in marriages, in love, right? So how can we get that better? Because evidently it seems like we're disconnected. You know, the whole, the, the whole analogy of, of uh, women are from Venus, men are from Mars, that statement, that analogy. So I seem to think that that must be true because we still doing it. And we still don't know how to get it all the way together. All right. So what's your solution in this pinnacle problem of relationships? Hmm. I'll give you mine. One, you have to know about emotions and what your body is made of. All right. So doing some research, it seems it says women typically have higher levels of oxytocin, the bonding hormone. Hmm. Men release this hormone at their highest level during sex, which leaves them at their most vulnerable and intimate. Now, that's a true statement. Now, brothers out there, am I wrong or am I right? Once you have that orgasm, don't you seem a little more sensitive? You know, put your thumb in your mouth, you know, talk a little pillow talk. Want to go out to dinner a little bit more, want to spend a little bit more money, want to do a few more things for your lady. Don't you? That's because you're reaching that higher level of oxytocin. But see, women are already built that way with a ton of it. So they always want to snuggle and feel secure and feel tender moments. They do. And you got to give it to them. If you don't give it to them, and ladies, if you don't give your man what he need, neither one of y'all going to be happy. So let's just try it this way. It's called compromise. And you have to to compromise in this day and age. We overthinking everything. Now, I'm not saying I got all the answers, but sometimes if you just peel back a little bit and think about what you're doing and how you're doing it, and just put on brakes for a second and look, instead of keep rolling 65 miles an hour in a 30 mile hour zone, take your time, read the signs, listen to each other. Now, you want to be happy? Take care of your man. Please him. Men, you want to be happy? Come home. Sometimes cook a dinner. Rub her feet. Make her a candlelight bath. Make her feel super special that you actually are concerned about her needs and her mental thoughts as well as her physical needs. All right? That's what she's looking for. I ain't the boss of it. I'm just telling you. It might work. Slow your roll. Start paying attention to each other. Get off the cell phones. Get off social media for an hour in each other's presence every day. Use a little bit more time just to hold each other, to talk to each other, to look in each other's eyes. I don't know. Hey, I'm just a guy out here trying to help out if I can. But I would like to leave you with one final thought. Now, focus on the words, not the vocal. And it goes like this. You gotta give a little. Take a little. Let your little heart break a little. That's the story of. That's the glory 
of love.